Hi there, everybody. Uh, we're back. Uh, I'm just looking at this sky this morning. It's the same every morning. Here in southwest France, we are being bombarded with trail cons constantly. <coughs> They're crisscrossing everywhere. Now, this morning, I have decided to take Mark Christopher's advice on how to deal with these trail cons. And you know what he said? He said you boil vinegar. Now, I've thought about that for a while. And each day when I get up, I look out and I see the sky littered, crisscrossed. I mean, people say, oh, the government's doing this, the government have no control over this. If any of them are even aware of it. Anyway, Mark Christopher says, you boil vinegar, ladies and gentlemen, and this will get rid of or disrupt the effect of the trail cons. Now, I put a little gas canister down in there. That pot hasn't started to melt yet, it's plastic. Uh, just to keep the wind off it. And there it is, bubbling away. I just stood in front of it a second ago and I happened to breathe it in. And if I was a trail con, I tell you, it made me cough, I cough my guts out, so, but I'm not. But I wouldn't boil this inside the house because it definitely would stink the whole place out. So here I am now on my new back terrace with my new fence, which I put up last week. Now nobody can see me and I can see through the cracks at all these neighbors. Now I'm not gonna try and zoom in on anything here, but there is another one coming across the sky. I mean, they're crisscrossing here 10 minutes ago. And let me look straight up. It's a haze, okay? Now, the wind is blowing, so that vinegar isn't... <coughs> oh, boy! Yeah, blew straight into my face. See, the things I do to get you the action. So, uh, it probably would be better, I don't know, if it was a, 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 a windless morning so that it would rise straight up like a plume of smoke out of a chimney uh, on one of those still mornings. But it's a little bit, it's not windy at all, but it's enough maybe to blow the fire out, but it's definitely enough to blow the vapor from the vinegar. This is a 10% vinegar. I had a 12% one, but I used it all up cleaning. One of my cleaning products is vinegar. I hate the smell of kitchen cleaning products. If I walk in a house and I smell them, I gotta get out. If you walked into my house and smelled this, you'd probably leave as well. Uh, I, I, this, I just lit this a little while ago, so I really do not know what the result is gonna be. I'm just sitting here riding out the storm in the south of France. Uh, this whole big thing hasn't affected me a whole lot. I haven't left my house much. I've only worn a mask once or twice when I go to the supermarket to get some veg. And it comes off when I get out. But I'm a little bit fed up, you know. I shouldn't be because I should have known better. But in the last year, year and a half, we have all heard the predictions of people on YouTube. I've even spoken about them myself about the redistribution of wealth and Nasara, Gisara, and the big reveal. And everyone's waiting for the big reveal to come along and make everybody enlightened, right? So, I mean, what is all of these reveals, you know? I mean, oh, they're going to reveal that history is fake and geography is fake. Uh, the true shape of the earth is going to come out. <coughs> the fake royals 
well that's gonna come out fake bankers the Vatican all the fake religions the true history of the earth whether it's the Empire of Rus or the Empire of Tartaria or the Moors and or and the mud flood it's gonna get out there everybody's gonna know about it giants roaming the earth the fucking actions is people like the Clintons, the Brushes, the Old Boomers, and the Bagans. Pedo shit is going to be revealed. All the Hollywood shit is going to be revealed. Free energy. We're going to get free energy. It's all going to be revealed. 6,000 new patents. And Mark Christopher, all due respect to him, that, but postal court judges with the power over armies and navies and militaries. The question of sovereignty and the fake judiciary to be revealed and the, the bar, the British Accredited Registry to be revealed as a pirate organization. Fake NASA. And the TV, the one-eyed guru of the West, gonna be taken over by white hats. And it's all is going to be revealed. I gotta, I gotta tell everybody right now. I've been sitting back, whittling some, and I gotta say, when I look at it, all has been revealed. It has been revealed. It's out there already. Everything that we think we're waiting on to be revealed. Why do we know about it? Because it's been revealed. This is the reveal. This internet and this free information and YouTube and all these other tubes and all the people who have been pumping out truth, this is the reveal. This is it being launched on the world, the big reveal. Now, is 1% of the population of the earth watching to see it and to live it for it to become a part of your life and the rest of it? No, because whatever truthers are out there on social media, the amount of untruthers and the amount of just crazy loony nobodies with a channel with millions of subscribers and thousands and hundreds of thousands of views that's enough to hide to cover to 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 make finding the truth almost impossible because Everybody's got a platform to shout from. And unless you really know where to look, you're not going to find. I've been looking at some good videos this past few days from Geronism and the videos with David Weiss from Deep Within the Rabbit Hole. These are excellent videos. I mean, they explain everything. But I don't even know how many thousand views here, but this is the reveal. It's being sent out there. Uh, uh, Campbell from Autodidactic uh, did a really good interview the other day and he had David Icke on the show. And, you know, I don't fully agree with Icke on a lot of what he says, but he does say a lot of things that are true and, he, you know, he, he does, he, all three boys together knew anyway the truth, but it's good to hear it coming out of people's mouths. But if 0.01% of the people of the earth were watching it, I'd be surprised. Yeah, Charlie Ward, and Simon Parks, and Robert David Steele, RIP, and others that they had on their show with them and Mahoney and the other guy in Spain. I mean, I watched them for quite some time. Nothing that they said has come true. And then who else did they have on? And they followed him around for a few months, Greg Hallett. 
Joseph Gregory Hammond, King John III, right? Now, everybody knows he has no hope of getting anywhere with that story. But yet, out of all of them, to me, he was one of the only ones that made sense. I mean, he stuck to the historical narrative, he stuck to the correct grammar, he went to a huge effort to expose those that call themselves royals as fakes. You know, so Hallett did make a bit of sense. I don't know where he is now. I hope he's doing well. But the rest of them were a bunch of mugs. Oh, my friend in the CIA, he rang me this morning and he told me that did blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And, oh, I've just been gotten off the phone with Q. And he says this and blah, blah, blah. Uh, while I'm off in the evening uh, with my alien wife and kids and upsetting my earthly wife and kids. And uh, does anybody anywhere have, the, uh, you know, an ounce of sense to, 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 to see through this crazy shit that these people have been coming out with? A lot of shit has gone down. A lot of horrible things have happened to the world. We've seen it happen. But to wait for a big reveal to come and reveal it all, it's here already. If you have not gotten switched on and into it, then you've missed it. And you'll leave this world in ignorance. And this has got everybody scared to death. Everybody's afraid of the end of the world. People are asking Alexa, Alexa, uh, what's the population of the UK? Oh, millions, 70 million. What's the population in the UK in three or four years? Oh, 22 million. The next question wasn't asked. How do you get rid of 40 million? Alexa, she wasn't asked, so she didn't answer it. I think I said it before one day that the end of the world comes to every living being on this earth the day that living being leaves its body lying on the ground. If you don't bury it in two or three days, it'll stink, so you've got to get rid of it. So that, that ain't you. You're gone. That's the end of the world. That's the real end of the world for you. But everybody's afraid of this fake end of the world that they put in your face from disaster movies to nuclear wars to diseases they're gonna come and wipe out humanity everybody's sure scared shitless so you're sold a fake end of the world that scares the shit out of you and the real end of the world that comes to you one day isn't mentioned. No preparation is made for that day. Sorry about that. I got a bit disturbed there and lost my line of thought. <coughs> now, that's why I lied. Oh, fuck. I'm going to destroy the saucepan. Oh, shit. That's it. Now, <laughs> the fucking trail con is still there. Maybe the vinegar blew that way. I don't know. I expected to see a big blue hole in the sky above me where everything got dispersed. So, Mark, Christopher, I know there's no hope of you seeing this video, but I took your advice and boiled my vinegar and then made the rest of my video using the latest trend which is point the phone at your boots and do this with your feet every few minutes and you get thousands of listeners that way I will be back shortly with you all I have a few things that I'd like to show you. I don't have any tech. I'm not like some of these other guys on YouTube that have a couple of laptops and a few screens and they're able to 
make a video and show all this stuff up from the screen. I've got to write things out, draw things out, put them on a piece of paper on the table and film that to have a few different things. So I'm planning on a little something at the moment. Now, I wish all my subscribers well. I ended up almost with 500 subscribers and my channel was only up a few months and it was good. And then I got a bit down and decided not to leave my house for months. Anyway, looking forward to your comments. Encourage me to get back to work. Take care of y'all.